The most unexpected item in my bag is... Hey, I'm Hannah Bronfman. Are you ready to spill it? So I brought this bag today because it is one of my favorite spring bags. It's bright yellow, it's a vintage Louis Vuitton bag, and it fits so much. I've had this bag for about 15 years, and I feel like the significance there is that I try to buy pieces that are really timeless and things I'm gonna own for a really long time, and this is a testament to that. I am probably the least organized person, and this bag specifically has zero organization inside of it. Everything is just thrown right in. This bag kind of correlates with my style because I tend to wear neutral colors or maybe a tonal outfit, and I love having a nice bright pop of color. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's inside my bag. Okay, so first of all, we have my wallet, which is a Balenciaga wallet. I bought it in September and then everything happened with Balenciaga. So I used a graffiti marker and I wrote F-U-C-K over Balenciaga. Okay, then let's see, classic AirPods, of course. You know, we're on the go all the time. I'm editing on the go, I'm taking calls on the go and I can't be out here in the street having a speakerphone moment, and I just can't deal with the radiation near my head. Next up, I have my protection spray. So this is just like great when I'm like headed out and I just want to protect my aura and just make sure that there's no one trying to like put their hooks in my energy, if you know what I mean. Gotta have my concealer. So this is a concealer from Rose Ink. It's just really creamy. It's actually perfect shade for my skin tone. The consistency is really, really good. It's like full coverage. Um, and I tend to just kind of put that on sometimes and that's all I really need. Okay, but then I have my Tower 28 bronzer. And this is just a creamy, like really nice kind of bronzer that I put just on my cheeks and I can do a little bit of contour with this. It's a little slippery, but it's great. And I use this, I got them at Target. They're great, I love them. Okay, next I have my hydration pack from this brand called Needed. They're all about pre, post, and during pregnancy care all of my vitamins and minerals, some trace minerals in here. Um, this is the lime flavor. I just put it into my water so that I'm making sure I'm extra hydrated. I don't really wear a lot of perfume. This is like a essential oil blend. It smells so nice and I just put it on my wrist and I'll put it like a little on my neck. It's just like nice and grounding and always just like reminds me that like Take a second, smell the roses, everything's good. Okay, I have a lighter in here from my husband's company, Fala Studios. It's really like heavy, substantial, chic. It's old school. I feel like girls who carry around lighters are cool AF. You know what I mean? Okay, so then we have my Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. So this is great. I literally first discovered this when I was 18. I had like picked something on my face and I was like, what do I do? I have a huge scab and this, like I put this on every single day for four days and the scab came off beautifully. There was like minimal, minimal scarring. Um, and I use this from like everything from that scenario to like putting it on my cuticles, my lips, my elbows when I need a little something. Um, I even like put this sometimes on my baby's cheeks if it's cold outside. So it's like a kind of like a multi-purpose bomb. Now, this is the item that I feel like I could get rid of. This is a blue spirulina vanilla cashew butter. It's like, when am I using this in public? I'm not sure, but it just makes me feel safe. Food is a mixture of joy, safety blanket, all of the things. And this feels like very healthy yet delicious and rich. But again, like where am I actually using this? I, I do not know, but um, I refuse to get rid of it. So it's, it's here. Okay, more snacks because 
I am nine months pregnant. You can't really tell, but I just need snacks in general. I have a Go Macro bar. Um, this one is the oatmeal chocolate chip, one of my faves. And then my last snack is I have a little peanut butter cup. This one's dark chocolate almond butter from Unreal. They're just like a great little snack. They're so delish. Okay, I have a pair of earrings in my purse. These are from Allison Lou. They're really cute Lucite hoops. I know we're like loving the gold and the silver right now, but we're moving into spring, summer, and I just feel like a little pop of something on the ears is actually really fun and cute. I have my powder from Kosas and a brush from Bare Minerals that I use to put my powder on for under eye, around my nose, T-zone, the whole thing, because I love to get glowy. What can I say? I'm out in these streets walking around, and next thing you know, I look very fresh, very fresh. So we like to use a little powder to mattify. And then I have my hair clip. Love a good hair clip, claw clip. I know we've seen so many videos of all the girlies wearing their claw clips and all the things, so we gotta have one on hand. And then I have my Say Beauty Cream Blush. This is a really, really nice product. It's buildable. The pigment is definitely strong, but not overbearing. It's a clean beauty brand. This color is in Spicy. If I'm using two products, it really is this and this, and my Tower 28, so three products, but. Um, okay, we are down to my last item, and it's slightly unexpected. But if you know me, you know that I love tin fish, and I just cannot get enough of these Omegas, let me tell you. This pregnancy, I've never craved more fish out of a tin in my life. These are the wild sardines from Matisse. They're so good. Like this on just like a toasted piece of sourdough. Like take me to a cafe. I'll order the toast on the side and you better believe I'm taking these sardines out of my bag and I'm putting them on that toast. I am that girl. I am that friend. If you're embarrassed, you're not having lunch with me. And that's okay. So these are my items. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a little something unexpected out of that. Learn some knowledge and uh, we'll chat later. Okay, ciao. So I'm working on a new series called Legacy, which is all about kind of interviewing people who have broken outside of their traditional field to really encompass a 360 view of themselves. And um, you can catch those interviews with Sophia Rowe, Gary V, and Steph Shep, to name a few. And I'm really excited about it. To watch more videos like this, subscribe below.